Hello everyone, welcome back to Combat Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. In our last video, we discussed the classification of ARI in the age group 2 months to 5 years. Today, we shall classify the disease for the age group 0 to 2 months. And as you can see from this table, the classification can be either very severe disease or severe pneumonia or no pneumonia, cough or cold. If you notice carefully, there is no classification such as pneumonia that is not severe in the age group of 0 to 2 months. Any young infant with age less than 2 months is considered as young infant and these young infants have certain special characteristics uh, that we must consider while classifying the disease in this age group. For example, in case of bacterial infection, the disease can progress and deteriorate very rapidly and it can be even fatal for the child. These children, especially the young infants uh, with pneumonia, may not have any cough. Sometimes they present with some non-specific signs, that means signs that is not specific for ARI. For example, poor feeding, uh, hypothermia, that is uh, low body temperature or even fever. Because of the soft chest wall bones, that means the ribs, the sternum, uh, the chest injuring is quite common in this age group. So that means presence of chest injuring does not always mean the child has severe disease. Because of all these special characteristics, we must be cautious and we should classify the illness in this age group differently from what we do in the older children. Any pneumonia in the young infant is considered to be severe and they have to be referred immediately to the hospital. So that is why there is no, uh, no pneumonia uh, that is not severe uh, in this classification for the age group 0 to 2 months. So whenever we have pneumonia, it has to be some seri serious or severe condition. So we have severe pneumonia or very severe disease. Now coming to the first classification that is very severe disease and just like uh, in the classification for older children that is 2 months to 5 years, we also have certain danger signs in this age group. For example, convulsions, abnormally sleepy or difficult to awake. So all the young infants having these signs may be suffering from hypoxia due to pneumonia, sepsis or meningitis. Malaria is not very common or usual in this age group so that is why it is not advised to start anti-malarial treatment without any confirmation then we have stridor when the child is calm infections that can cause stridor like diphtheria bacterial tracheitis measles epiglottitis are not very common are quite rare in the young infants so any young infant with stridor when calm should be classified as having very severe disease. The child uh, that has stopped feeding well, that means it is taking less the half of the usual amount of milk, may have a serious infection and should be classified as having very severe disease. Wheezing is uncommon in young infants and sometimes is associated with hypoxia fever or hypothermia fever for example uh, body temperature more than 38 degrees celsius is uncommon in young infants and more often means a serious bacterial infection in addition fear may be the only sign of serious bacterial infection so other signs of serious bacterial infections may not be there that the young infant may present only with fever sometimes some of the infections may also can cause hypothermia so the child will have low body temperature so if a young infant has any of this uh, danger signs like convulsion abnormally sleepy or difficult to wake stridor when calm stopped feeding well 
wheezing, fever or low body temperature, we have to uh, consider it as a very severe disease. So, based on that, when the signs include any of this, like the child has stopped feeding well, it has convulsions, abnormally sleepy or difficult to wake, stridor in a calm child, there is wheezing, there is fever or hypothermia, we must classify it as very severe disease. And what are the treatment? It includes referral to the hospital urgently. That is the first step. Keep the young infant warm if there is a possibility of hypothermia and the first dose of antibiotic is to be given. Sometimes before referring to the hospital where injectable antibiotics will be given, uh, the child may be given the first oral dose of antibiotic from the health center, maybe from the uh, primary health center or the sub center, etc. Now, the severe pneumonia. Again, the signs include severe chest indrawing or fast breathing. So, either of this can be present and it will be considered as uh, severe pneumonia. So, the classification is severe pneumonia and the treatment is referral to the hospital urgently. The child has to be kept warm to avoid hypothermia and the first dose of antibiotic is to be given. If referral is not feasible, then treat with an antibiotic and follow closely. One thing I must point out here, since we are talking about young infants, uh, fast breathing is considered when the respiratory rate is 60 or above. In our previous video, we discussed what is fast breathing and uh, when it is considered as fast breathing, that means the different respiratory rate at uh, different age group. For age group less than 2 months, it is 60 or above. Anyway, moving on to the antibiotic therapy for treatment of pneumonia in less than 2 months of age group. We have 3 antibiotics, benzyl penicillin, ampicillin and gentamicin and all of them are injectable preparations. So, either benzyl penicillin or ampicillin is given. So, one of these two options along with injection gentamicin. So, gentamicin is fixed along with that we have to give either benzyl penicillin or ampicillin. Benzyl penicillin the dose is 50,000 international unit per kg per dose. It is to be given 12 hourly if the age of the child is 0 to 7 days or 6 hourly if the age is 7 days up to 2 months. Ampicillin dose is 50 mg per kg per dose given 12 hourly in 0 to 7 days and uh, 8 hourly for children uh, aged 7 days to 2 months. And gentamicin is given 2.5 mg per kg per dose. Again, here also we are giving it 12 hourly for age less than uh, 7 days and 5 hourly for age uh, 7 days up to 2 months. Coming to no pneumonia, cough or cold. Signs include no severe chest indrawing and no first breathing. So, both of them have to be absent. In that case, we shall classify it as no pneumonia, cough or cold. What are the treatment? Advise the mother to give the following home care. So, in this case, we do not have to refer the child to the hospital. Care can be given at home by the mother herself. The baby has to be kept warm to avoid hypothermia breastfeeding frequently that means the breastfeeding exclusive breastfeeding has to be continued and more frequently clear nose if it interferes with feeding the mother is advised to return quickly if there is development of breathing difficulty if the breathing become fast so fast breathing starts if there is any feeding problem or the young infant becomes sicker now, many children, especially the young infants, uh, may present with cough and cold and fever and they do not have any pneumonia because they do not have first breathing or chest injury. So, they do not require any treatment of antibiotic because most of these cases are because of any viral infection and antibiotics are not effective in viral infection. Rather, they would produce resistance strains and may also have certain side effects. So, there is no clinical benefit of giving antibiotics in case of viral infections. So, that is why in case of no pneumonia, 
cough or cold we generally do not give any antibacterial symptomatic treatment and care and care at home is generally enough for such cases the mother must be advised on how to take care of the child at home uh, and also when to return that means if certain signs or clinical features develop or if there is any difficulty in feeding etc in that case the mother has to be advised to return with the infant so with this we conclude today's session where we discussed the classification and management of ARI in the age group 0 to 2 months. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates, juniors and friends from other colleges. We also have our Facebook page that you can follow. The link is given in the description. Take care and we shall see you in our next video.